All right, so this is going to be a game to uh, like a a searching game where you kind of click and find like you know like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. There's a lot of these out there. It's usually like a crime game. Uh, I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. This is what it's going to end up being. Um, so search the mess, and basically you have to find this, right? So this is this actually. It's the pen. Uh, the keys are right here. The bottle is right there. Uh, the remote's right there. Oh, okay. So I got three out of five found in uh, 30 seconds. Um, but basically it'll tell you how long you take. You only get 30 seconds. Um, I guess I could have it go longer. I was just going to have it end after that. But anyway, um, so that's basically what the game is, relatively simply. All right. So um, what you're going to want to start off doing is this. Uh, you're going to need some sort of artwork, okay? So I'm going to turn off um, this and that. Okay, so basically, you just need an artwork. So mine looks like this. Um, there's nothing all that fancy about it. I just drew, you know, uh, in a program, just painted this drawing, okay? So I need some sort of thing. Uh, obviously, you need it messier. Uh, the better job you do. I mean, if this is your the game you're making, then you only have to make one piece of artwork, so it should look really good. Um don't worry about the items. I mean, paint them in there, but you don't have to do anything special. You just draw them like you normally would. Okay? So that's the first uh, item that you would uh, need. It's just your artwork with all the items hidden inside it. And they don't need to be separated. They can just be one you know, one big piece of artwork. That's all this is. Just a PNG I brought in. Um, okay. Uh, now, the other thing I did was um, I just... Uh, I just made a gray background. I just made a um, another thing, just search items background, and it's just this area here. So all it is is a gray shape that I put a gradient on, and then um, and then I just wrote find the items, and then I'm just going to put the items here that we're looking for. Okay, but this is just a graphic. There's nothing special about it. Okay, so um, but you probably should have some sort of clue. I mean, you might not want to. It's up to you how you want to do it, but this is the way I set mine up. Um, and then, uh, then the last thing that you're going to need is this. So what I did is, um, let me turn this off and I'll make a new layer. So I, I need to have uh, something I can select that's here. So what I did for my selectable areas is I just used the, uh, the regular paintbrush here. And I just did like a dark gray. Um, and then I just, uh, come on, brush gets smaller. All right, well bigger anyway oh yeah it's getting bigger and small it's just not showing okay um but basically i went like this i just drew over the things like so okay and i did this for all of them so like let's say i wanted like this was another one so i just try to fill it in the best i can you know one of them was an action figure guy here and you know you get the idea. So I just do that for all of them. Just a black um, silhouette area. And then all I did afterwards is just grabbed each one of these and just converted them to a symbol. Modify, convert to symbol. And I made mine buttons, which means when I hover over them, it's going to make the little hand so they'll know that they're clicking on it. But if you don't want to have that, if you want to have it just like they have no clue at all that, you know, when they hover over it, that it's there, um, you can just make it a movie clip. It doesn't matter either way, but I did... Bu um, I did buttons uh, for mine, so I'm going to delete layers. Okay, so that's what these are. So I took each one of these. Each one of them is a symbol. Um, so I got item, action figure, bottle. You can see I just basically painted right over top of them and then converted each one separately to a symbol. All right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's what those are. Um, da -da 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 -da. All right, so... Um, I think that's it as far as the, the stuff that you would need. Um, it's really nothing more special than that. That's basically all I have. Uh, so just make this basic painting, drawing, something nice uh, for your background here. And then you got to make these um, things that you're going to use for buttons over top of them. And we're going to make them not visible but clickable. Uh, and that's basically how we're going to um, set that up. So in the next video, what we'll do is um, we'll start setting up um, these buttons uh, and doing some like basic, uh, code.